K.O.B. Cole, the king of birds. Go ahead and get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. What up, what up, what up, world? It's K.O.B. Cole, man. Man, I'm, I'm just going to drop my few little thoughts on this Donald Trump fiasco. What I want to say is that it's a done deal, it's a done daughter, and ain't nothing you can really do. Um, it's not a surprise. It ain't nothing that you shouldn't have expected. You know, you know the biggest campaign, you know, the expensive, you know, the money that was spent on this campaign was going to, you know, override everything, you know, because that's what they want, you know. It's a duality thing. It's always Democrats get their time, Republicans get their time. You know, it's just the way it is. And to be honest, a lot of the women came out and supported their people, you know, their race. They didn't go over their race. They're not going to sell out their race. They're not like the black people. They don't have a huge conspiracy to try to separate their own people. You know what I mean? There's two groups of people trying to separate them. You have to look at the people around you that's trying to convince you that you're in their circle, man. These people are all for themselves. So you shouldn't be surprised. You should be motivated to do your own thing and not let the government or some group of people dictate your life. You should dictate your own life. You know what I'm saying? I'm the king of birds, man. I say I have my own choices and I have my own route. That I want to go on so and it's always been that way man even like Bush was in office it's always like you know we actually we was up there doing our own thing so I wasn't like tripping like to me everybody was going crazy putting their problems on somebody else I'll say it's all depending on what you want to do now people do know we got eyes against us especially as the black folks you know they don't have they their thing is go do your own thing then you know what I'm saying and I can't really go hard on that because there is a lot of things that happened in the past that that's leading to why the future is the way it is. You know, you're going to literally have to go out their system, out their school systems and everything if you really want to go that route. Get the metal, get the resources, recycle your metal and start letting them take your metal out your neighborhoods and recycle that shit. Start welding, growing food out the ground. You know what I'm saying? Getting them seeds. You know what I mean? And becoming like builders, man, and just build your own shit. Mow your own shit. Conquer your own shit. Don't be sitting there acting like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the epitome of power. You know, it ain't white supremacy. It's white power, dog. It's flexing in your face. You know what I'm saying? Look, they all for their family. He, he coming up in the White House with his fam. Trump. So, it ain't about them motherfuckers, man. It's not about everybody else. So, they saying it's just rednecks and... Oh man, it's people that's in corporate America that you sitting right next to, it's your boss and you know it. So these people out here fronting and flexing, y'all going back into a tower. You know what I'm saying? Because most of y'all privileged and got this shit. Y'all going in towers your damn selves. Stop fly, stop faking, man. Keep it real. Y'all y'all privileged, man. And people out here complaining, man, y'all can do what the fuck y'all want to do. I see them people, man, in groups acting like they have no rights. And nigga, you got all the rights to do what the fuck you want. You in the land of the free, right? Ain't nobody trying to kill your ass in no mass amounts. Go look at the prison population and see what they fucking with. And ask yourself that question. So, yeah, you got to understand that there's a reason why they're doing that. Because they're in fear. So, if they're in fear, you got to take that into consideration and say, we need to do our own thing and get out this system. And get our own thing popping. So, not me, I'm not tripping, man. I like doing my own thing. I stay in my own world because there's people in my community in my sector that a double cross to get benefits in that other society so a lot of these cats they fake as hell nigga y'all motherfuckers praise the american dollar every day you praising donald trump bitch that's donald trump on the money that you pulling out that you praising bitch get your own people on your own shit bitch yeah i'm calling you bitch niggas out nigga fake motherfuckers so yeah get that shit right and get your own shit Grow your own shit. Hunt your own shit. Get your own metal. Get your own army. That's what we about. Get your own shit. Stop fucking with they shit and letting them people come in your communities bullshitting with you turning you into some perverts, nigga. Trying to push some pervert shit. They majority ain't on that bullshit. 
They down for their own shit. Get down with your own shit. Stop letting other motherfuckers infiltrate your shit. You know what I'm saying? Be real about that. So I ain't trying to be on no racist shit, but y'all some bitch ass niggas. Y'all some pussies, man. Y'all back by the, y'all, everything y'all do is backed by some other white motherfuckers instead of y'all doing your own thing. That's what I want to say. So let's get real about that. Okay, be cold, man. I'm signing out. Think about that. They flexing their white power. Flex your black power. They told you to, no, not black power. It's black lives matter. Stop begging a motherfucker. Do your own thing. Look at that George Soros shit. You know what I'm saying? Turn y'all to straight limp fist bitch made motherfuckers, nigga. That's what exactly what it is. So, yeah, I'm KLB Cold, man, and I'm signing out. Peace.